Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an E to get a badge in Roblox Studio. So for this tutorial, we will be needing Explorer and Properties, so click on the View tab up here if you do not have Explorer and Properties enabled already. I would highly recommend it to have Explorer and Properties open anytime. They are so useful. Um, but if you don't already have them, click on Explorer and Properties and they should show up somewhere over your screen. Once I've done that, you now want to insert your part, which is going to be holding the proximity prompt. So we're going to click up here and we're going to insert the part, move the part a little bit over here, and you can go and customize the part however you would like. We're just going to make it a simple button just like that, which is going to have E on the proximity prompt from this part. So once you've done that, we want to go and anchor it so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then we want to click on the plus button next to our part and insert a proximity prompt. Now we can go and adjust a couple of things in this proximity prompt, including the letter that you actually have to push down for the proximity prompt to be triggered. So on here, we've got it to E, but you could change it to D, E, whatever, whatever, eight and whatever, whatever you feel like, but we're going to keep it as E. But then we're also going to be going and changing the hold duration, basically meaning you have to, the player has to hold the button for one second for the proximity prompt to be triggered. You could change this to 10, you could change it to 60. We're gonna keep it at one though, just so it's nice and simple. Then also in the proximity prompt, you're able to change the max activation distance, which basically means how far someone can be away from the proximity prompt to be able to activate it. So for example, let's say we'd be able to activate the proximity prompt from here, but over here we wouldn't because we're so far away. It's really how far the player has to, can be for them to be able to activate it. But once you've changed and adjusted anything you want in the proximity prompt properties, we want to click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that we've got the script, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and paste in the new code. So I'll give you a quick rundown on what actually is happening here. This is a very fairly simple script. There is not much actually to it. Uh, but I'll try to explain it the best I can. So we're basically identifying on what proxim the proximity prompt is, and the proximity prompt is the script dot the parent, because the script is in the parent. Uh, sorry, uh, the script is in the proximity prompt. Script dot parent, and the parent of the script is the proximity prompt. So that we're just identifying on what the proximity prompt is. Then we're also identifying on the what the badge ID is. So our badge ID is one two three four water 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 just a bunch of random numbers but you would want to go and replace this with your badge ID which the player will be receiving the badge ID from the badge that the player will be receiving once the proximity prompt is triggered triggered so we'll go and change that here shortly and then we're also identifying on what badge service is game get service but badge service market but we, we've covered this before marketplace service is also another service like this but now we're just using a badge service so we're identifying on what badge service is then it goes to line five where it goes proximity prompt this is kind of where the main code situation all happens nothing really happens up here we're just kind of identifying on what these words mean and what their meaning behind them is now what it does it goes to the proximity prompt which is up here dot triggered that means when it's been triggered by someone holding e it connects and credit function identifying that it is a player then it goes to the badge service then it awards the badge and it awards the badge to the player to the user id and then the badge id so it is awarding the player this badge there and that's all the script and then all you want to do you just want to go and change this badge id up here to whatever your badge id is now if you don't already have a badge id you want to head over to your the main roblox page where your roblox game is as you guys can see we're on our main roblox page where our game is where we can join it thumbs it up whatever whatever we want to go over to the three dots here on our game and we want to click configure this experience now this will take us to the developer creator page where we can kind of change all the settings for our game the uh, if it's private or public associated items access settings it's really up this is where you can change most of your game settings but we want to go over to associated items so click on associated items and then it will take us straight to badges you can also check uh, get uh, passes here as well as developer products please excuse this game pass door access this is from my previous video but we're going to be working on the badges so as you guys can see i've already got a badge here but if you do not already have a badge you want to click on create a badge then you want to insert an a image for it so as you guys could see the image i had just back there was like a fish but you want to go and insert an image there then you want to set a name so it could be fishy or it could be um you found the, the secret light or you found a secret area 
and then that would be the badge name and then also just a bit of a description and then click on create badge but because i've already got a badge all i'm going to do i'm just going to go back over to my experiences and select the correct one which i'm in associated items and then i'm going to click on the three dots next to our badge over here and click copy asset id and then that is going to be the id i'm putting back into the code so let's go back to roblox studio now that we're back in Roblox Studio, we're gonna go and change this ID to the badge ID, which we just copied. Once you've done that, click on the X button next to your script, and then you wanna go click on File and Publish Your Game to Roblox to go test it out in the main Roblox page. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate, and as you guys remember, we could hit change the max activation distance, and as you guys can see, because I'm over here more than 10 away, it is not allowing me to activate the proximity prompt. But as you guys can see, if I move closer, now we are able to trigger the proximity prompt. So now what should happen is if we hold down E here for one second, we will be rewarded the badge. So if we hold down E for one second, we will now be rewarded the badge, which is the badge awarded. It's underscore floppy fish won the 24 month, month membership. That was just the title of my badge. But as you guys could see, we got rewarded the badge by triggering the proximity prompt. Now, if we go and hold down E again, we will not be re-awarded the badge simply because we already have the badge. So this E proximity prompt here would kind of be a little bit useless for us now. But as you guys can see, that is how you can get a badge by holding E in Roblox Studio. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket on my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio tutorial.